Pastor William, these Eagles fans, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, for real, for real, but whatever. Any, anybody could be watching. Yeah. They think that A.J. Brown is just going to come in and just flip the culture. They, they think that he's just going to enact big change. This ain't me saying A.J. Brown's a bad player or anything like that. But who you think you you dealing with? I called in the Law Nation show yesterday. He was like, Vash, I got a question, man. The chat been been asking me. So I said, what's that? Is A.J. Brown elite? I said, huh? <laughs> I say, I say, what what happened? AJ Brown is a good football player, sure. right? And there's a lot of good football players, you know, in the National Football, good receivers in National Football League. But you got to really think about elite and and what we're asking of elite. Elite don't just mean good. You got to do something like you got to take the best dudes in the league and do something that stands out above them. Mm -hmm. That's what makes you elite. Now, it could be anything. It could be yak ability. It could be ball skills. It could be speed. Everybody kind of got their thing. It could be route running. You know, Cooper Cup could, you know, you can argue because he his route running gets, you know what I mean, and it, it'll produce into something yeah. like that. But, but but you can, you know what I mean? I'm starting to look at A.J. Brown. I, I started to watch some film, Will, still. I, I just wanted to see, you know, just in case I was bugging or something. I don't think A.J. Brown is elite, right? And not only is A.J. Brown not elite, when did Jalen Hurts turn into a guy? That's the one right there. When, when did Jalen Hurts turn into? He, okay, so J last year Jalen Hurts threw sixteen, uh, through uh, sixteen touchdowns, sixteen passing touchdowns, sixteen. I didn't misread it. One six. I looked up games played because I thought he got hurt or something. Did, did Jalen Hurts get hurt? Nope. Sixteen touchdowns and nine interceptions. How many of them shits would have went to AJ Brown? <laughs> and if AJ Brown was there, how many more do you think would have, you know, uh, he he would have gotten if that was the case? Cowboy fans get so caught up. I'm talking about y'all now, not y'all like you guys, but y'all like them. Cowboy fans get so caught up in everybody else's power. You forget who you are. You forget who you are. When the Cowboys played the Eagles uh, in, the, in the first game last year, because the second game don't count because we had third stringers in. But all right, cool. You probably should have started them. <laughs> when the Cowboys played, played the Eagles in the first game, Will Steele, Randy Gregory was out. Leo Collins had lied to the P-man. Terrence Steele was playing. Amari Cooper had three catches. And that shit was 50-something to, what, like 10 at the halftime? It's a blowout. They made us change the channel to a Green Bay game. We was whooping their ass so bad. They said, hey, man, we just going to change the channel third quarter, dog. There, there's nothing to see here. On Monday night. <laughs> On, there's nothing to see here. <laughs> All of a sudden, the addition of A.J. Brown makes you 40 points better. And a half. We called the dogs out, Will, still. We called the dogs off at halftime. If the Cowboys wanted to smoke the shot at the Eagles 70-something to 10, we had a whole nother quarter to get 20 points. We could have done it. But we opted to be classy. But Vaj, in that second game, we had our backups in. Our backups was in in the second half of the first game. AJ Brown gonna shift culture culture for you like that. Like I said yesterday, y'all struggled with Ben DiNucci. You oh, lost good. to Andy Dalton. You got whooped by Dak twice last year. Holla at me when you actually beat the Cowboys for real. And then we can have a conversation. I get it's a rivalry and everything, mm -hmm. right, Vaj? But you still got Jalen Hurts. I mean, that's that's why, it. That's the end of the conversation. Let me tell you why it's it's not a rivalry. And I'm only counting the games where Dak was healthy. If you if you if you beat Andy Dalton, that shit don't count. And they um, did. and they they, they right. <laughs> and this goes back even to your Carson Wentz days, right? Yeah. Let me tell you why it's 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 not a rivalry, especially while while Dak is healthy. A rivalry requires both sides to get some W's. Right, you would want it to be relatively even. I don't think divisions make rivalries anymore. If you ask Baltimore who's a rival, they're not gonna say like Cleveland or something. They'll say like like Tennessee because they men the playoffs, they fought each other. There was a while where Seattle was a rival of ours because we would go back and forth with them with with wins and losses. I don't consider Cowboys versus Eagles a rivalry. I just call it beating the shit out your little brother. I just call it beating the shit out your little brother. When Dak Prescott is healthy, I have I lose no sleep on Saturday night knowing that going into the next day we're going to put hands on the children. They don't even be looking close. 
It don't even make me feel no kind of way. And this wasn't what we was going to talk about today. We was going to talk about draft picks. I promise we're going to get into this. But I just saw some on the on, on the what? damn Twitter. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I saw Alex. Huh? Go ahead. Oh, my bad. Oh, Alex Eagles fan. He's going to say what he want. Uh, okay, Master Wig, let me ask you this before we get into Alex real, real quick and this phone call that we have. Marcus Moser dropped his list of uh, best wide receivers in the East, specifically the NFC East. I'm not asking you to guess what his list is. What would be your relative top five? It ain't got to be exact, you know, Master Wave. I would love to know who the best is, but who is your relative top five in terms of NFC East wide receivers? Obviously, Lamb, C- Lamb, Terry, and AJ would be your top three, right? I mean, sure. th- whatever order, I don't give a damn, honestly, about no top five I, in the I NFC do. East. But, I, I mean, those three are uh, – Terry's a really damn good receiver. I mean, if you put him with the Cowboys and Dak Prescott, he'd eat. Uh, AJ's a good receiver too, and and CD Lamb is on his third year, about to snap, I think. So I mean, those were those his top three or no? No, that, that was that was his top three, sure. But oh. like CD Lamb was like his third, I believe. Behind who? I, I, I guess Terry, but who else? AJ, AJ and Terry. Huh? AJ got AJ had like eight hundred and sixty some yards last. <laughs> <laughs> and in my mind, I could be bullshitting, but people give Tannehill like a hard time. Tannehill better than Jalen Hurts. He's better than Jalen Hurts, yes. Tannehill better than Jalen Hurts. At this I'll, moment, I'll maybe Jaylen. maybe Jalen Hurts will have a better year, you know, this year, but but he ain't had a better career yet. I'm just looking at the responses, man. I'm looking at the comments and shit. I'm like, y'all really people think CD Lamb. Why are you getting worked up about them, bro? You know they're gonna talk, they talk. I got enough energy. Maybe one day when I'm 40, I won't care about this. <laughs> but but CD Lamb, people really think just because Cooper is gone, Lamb just automatically like he just he just sweet now. He just he just up to just be a victim now. Oh, CD Lamb's a victim now, bro. CD Lamb was your best receiver last year by numbers and relatively production, right? Cooper had the plans for fasciitis. He couldn't really do Cooper things, so somebody had to be that guy. When we fed. CD Lamb the ball. We had we had hard times getting it to him. I think that's fair. But when we fed CD Lamb the ball, CD Lamb was that guy. So so all of a sudden, he's trash now because Cooper's not here. I don't see it. I don't understand it. No, I, I don't get it. it. Go ahead. I just can't get over my man. I, and I appreciate Alex in the chat. You know, I don't putting it putting the superhero cape on for his boys. But bro, what the hell does Dak Prescott? four years ago got to do with Dak Prescott or your boy right now. I don't give a damn what Dak Prescott did in 2017. He is far and away better than Jalen Hurts now. Like, you saw things even then that he did better than Jalen Hurts in 2017. Jalen Hurts can't read a defense. He can't get through his reads. Dak Prescott was heralded for getting through progressions as a young player. He was a mature passer. Now, obviously, he was young, and he still needed to get better, but Jalen Hurts is still struggling reading defenses, my guy. He's a running back. Mm, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Now you know your ass is Willie. I got a question for you, Master William. If you're the Eagles, and I promise we're going to move on, we got, we got calls and we got the topic we're going to talk about. This is the weird position Jalen Hurts is in. I do agree that there, there's room for Jalen Hurts to get better. A lot of room. <laughs> Much room. Plenty of it. How long do you allow him to attempt to get better? I think the Eagles have built this team now to try to win expeditiously. And if you Jalen Hurts with, with the pieces that they've provided you and you don't win expeditiously, I think you either sit or you go elsewhere. I don't think there's a lot of patience in that room for Jalen Hurts because this is the second year in a row, I believe, the second offseason in a row that we look at Jalen Hurts and we go, hey, man, the Eagles could draft a quarterback. And we just hear things in draft world. We hear sources. We hear people talking. The front office and the coaches and them, it, it ain't it ain't like everybody not simpatico. There's no consensus. There's some people over there that wish Jalen Hurts wasn't around. How much longer do you wait on that? It, the, Meanwhile, Dak Prescott just smoking the shit out y'all. Go ahead, Will. They changed the offense. Sure. Because, you know, Hurts had his deficiencies. Now, if he gets better in that area, like I've been saying ever since the draft, this hinges on him. You know, they they went out and got the talent. Hassan Reddick, Jordan Davis, A.J. Brown, they went out and got the, the bodies. End of the day, though, if your quarterback ain't good enough, you got a problem. Now, I will agree with that, Alex. I do agree with that. He says – 
He says he never said Hurts would be better than Dak, and I'm not saying that. Uh, but I don't believe he will at all. I also don't think we need him to be better to win the division. Would you agree there? That's fair. <laughs> at, uh, sure. I, I, mean, I mean, sure. I mean, so so if he's not better than Dak, that means sure. your defense is probably elite, right? That means your running game is still elite. That means sure. he's at, at the very least efficient in getting the rock to A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. So everything else is going to have to be top tier, right? If That's he's, my thing. If he's, yes. if he's this 18th best quarterback in the league. <laughs> That's you know my I mean? thing. How, how much better has your roster got? Has your roster really gotten 18, I mean, uh, 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 30 points better? You know what I mean? We just talking about how, we talking about how bad the Cowboys beat the shit out of the Eagles last year because apparently the first game was the only one that matters, right? Has your roster got 30 points better? And I think the only way you move points that big and that way the Cowboys got to fall off a cliff, and I don't think that's the case. And the Eagles got to get huge, huge better. I don't think that's the case neither. 